see him. You here for search and seizure of my house? You know, I got those test results from the bracelet we fished out of the harbor. Oh, that's good. Come in. Ah, she's here. Figured. Now, uh, don't be speculating on my personal life, huh? Come on, Garcia. Do you really think I'm guilty, or do you want to come clean and admit that you may have a bit of a crush on me? Would you be so smug if I said the test showed Devlin's blood on your bracelet? That's ridiculous. Of course it's ridiculous. As if that was true, and you found blood, Devlin's blood on that bracelet, you'd already have her cuffed, and you'd have a photographer out front ready to take your picture for the newspaper, wouldn't you? There was blood on that bracelet. Eve killed Devlin, and you're helping her to cover it up. Even if it means sacrificing your client, Julie Devlin. I don't think so. No? You sat on evidence that would have cleared Julie weeks ago because it would have implicated your little honey here. Well, then, if you want to go public with that, I will sue for defamation. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Eve, why don't you just save us all a lot of trouble and confess? I already have all the evidence I need to put you away for life. You knew you were going to be 45 oh. minutes later than you said. The least you could have done was to call me at the community center. Victor, you know I am always late. And besides, why didn't you just call a taxi at that point? You know, I I'd be happy to pay for it. Or better yet, why didn't you call him? Well, I tried to call him, but all I got was the machine. I'm sorry, I never picked up the messages. Hey, are you okay? You don't look okay. And, you know, last night you were very, very quiet. And I didn't even see you this morning. You were gone before I got up as happened you could say that do you want to tell me about it i had a session with gail yesterday oh never even mentioned that to me yeah we used a memory recovery technique to help me recollect what happened at the picnic i remembered everything Remember Ryan and the woman throwing the knives. I killed that woman. See? N no, I, I don't believe that. Not for one minute. I don't believe it. You're just confused. You just had a confused no, memory. No, no, Lucy, all... Victor, you told me the you told me the truth. I remember all of it. I remember that Ryan and I were imitating what we just seen at the circus, and Ryan. Ryan persuaded me to throw those knives at your mistress. Wait, listen to me. This isn't right. It's just your memory's all jumbled. You know, when you're in a vulnerable state and under a lot of stress, sometimes things are suggested Lucy, no. to you. Lucy, no. No. Lucy, no. I remember specifically being covered in blood. What else could that be? Mark, I'm so sorry. I should never have told you anything about that day. But, but listen to me now. You were just a young child. You, you, you didn't, you baby, you didn't know what you were doing. A normal four-year-old child doesn't just kill Victor. There was something wrong with me then. And there's something wrong with me now. And I know that you are not a killer. Lucy, 30 years ago, I killed that woman. And now it looks like I am connected to the murders based on my book. No, no, that's Lucy, not Lucy, look at the facts! The clown suit, the noose, the hallucinations of Ryan, all the elements point to me! Hallucinations of Ryan? Yes, Victor, I'm having conversations with my dead brother. Oh, dear God. No, listen to me. You are not the murderer. All, all that evidence was planted by somebody else in our home, and, and those hallucinations you're having, it's just because it's been so strange. Lucy, I don't have an alibi for Bennett Devlin's murder or for Grace Sullivan's murder. I don't know. Maybe I did black out. I've got the answer. I'll be your shadow. I mean, Lord knows I have nothing else to do. I, I'll be with you every moment, and that way, 
If you have a blackout, I'll be there to take care of you. I'll keep my eye on you, too, and together, the three of us will be inseparable. That's a good idea. Yeah. But promise me something. If something happens, if I black out, don't deal with it yourself. Call Mac, and then get out. Promise me. You got it. Listen, um, I am going to just call uh, real quickly and tell them to go ahead and start that nurse of all rehearsal without me. I don't want to go. I no, want to stay no, with Lucy, you. No, no, Lucy, go to your rehearsal. I, I have to take Victor in for a checkup anyway. Okay, but promise you will stop by on your way home. My rehearsal come, okay? Lucy, you can't keep an eye on me 24 hours a day. No, this isn't about you. It, it's about me. I have my little number, and I really need you to see it and kind of critique it, okay? So I need your support. Will you come? I'll be there. Let me just get my check. Victor? I'm just going upstairs. You don't need to come along. Are you sure? You're, you're my only son. I'm sure. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm going to go upstairs and uh, check my lipstick. Back off, Garcia. My client. Your girlfriend. Dr. Lambert is not going to confess to anything. Not now. Not ever. And you can bully her till the cows come home, but it's not going to do any good. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I come off as a bully? Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, I bet you do. May I ask your client a simple question? Absolutely not. It's okay. It's all right. You might as well get the banter out of the way now while you're here instead of later on at the hospital or something. Oh, how well you know me. Well, we've been spending way too much time together, Detective. Why didn't you give me the bracelet when I came to your house with the search warrant? Because I was scared. Besides, you were searching. Did I have to volunteer it? No, Fifth Amendment. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I understand you lost that bracelet the day Devlin died. Yes, and then I found it in the on-call room. Oh, well, that's not what I heard. Well, you know, you got to stop listening to gossip. See, it always gets in better in the retelling. Besides, I wouldn't go around wearing a bloody bracelet. That's right. You know enough of this this nonsense here. Now, as Julie's attorney, the district attorney's office has got to give me what evidence they have. Now, did you or did you not find any blood on the bracelet? Okay, you got me. I was bluffing. Somewhat. Okay. There was blood on that bracelet, but it was too degraded to get a match with Devlin's. Oh, that's too bad. I got my eye on you, Dr. Lambert. Nobody tosses a piece of gold in the harbor without a reason. Insurance fraud? Mm. You're going to be Lucy Coe's dresser at the nurse's ball. I don't suppose you'd be stupid enough to try to kill her with the whole world watching. Do I look stupid, Detective? Not very. Thank you. But it sure will make my job a heck of a lot easier. Hey, Garcia, let me remind you that uh, Dr. Kevin Collins found a noose in his trunk. What, are you trying to tell me he's the murderer? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying who's ever doing all this framing is starting a little bit early. In his book, my daughter Karen dies by hanging. Now, what are you doing to protect her? A lot more than you, obviously. I don't think so. Not when you're hanging around here. Now, I'm going to tell you something, all right? If anything happens to my daughter Karen, I'm going to come looking for you. Duly noted, Counselor. So I'm going to counter his allergic reaction with steroids. I want you to keep an eye on his breathing and check him every 10 minutes. Yes, doctor. Nurse Goddard, to 212 East. Nurse Linda Goddard, to 212 East.
3715. Hey, would you mind taking this to last me? Sure. Thanks. Dr. May just pulled me into surgery. They're prepping a 10-year-old that was just hit by a car. So I just wanted to make sure you had somebody to go with you to rehearsal. I'll be fine. I'm not going to wander off by myself like some dumb blonde in a cheap horror film. Don't make jokes. There's already two people that are dead. I just don't want you to take any chances, okay? I'll be all right. I'll ask Julie to walk with me to rehearsal. There's safety in numbers. We're too late for Lucy's number. Oh, I knew that was going to happen the minute they told us at the hospital that we'd have to wait. I would so much rather have seen Lucy's performance and wait around that godforsaken hospital to be poked and prodded by some, some stranger in a white smock. Well, it's those appointments that put you in that cheery disposition that I've come to love. Hey, that's Colin. How's it going? Jake, it's going. Are you performing this year? No, we want people to give money, not run screaming from the building. No, I'm just helping with some of the setups. Professor Collins, how are you doing today? I'm fit to be tied, thank you very much. Your profession has a very callous disregard for common courtesy. I'll bet you have a room full of patients waiting for you right now. You, 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 you doctors love to keep people waiting, don't you? No, actually, we don't. Victor's his usual cheery self. Yeah, I can see that. Well, excuse me, I gotta go check the rigging. Actually, I'll go with you. I want to take a look at the security. Victor, would you like to come along? No, I would not, since we have missed the dancing ladies and their leotards and high heels. I will just Thank wait you. here. I'll wait here and watch the door. Suit yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, ID, please. Professor Collins, you know who I am. Mary Scanlon, nurse at the hospital. I help take care of you. Well, I, uh, I, I know that, but uh, I'm, I'm going to have to see some ID. Oh, sure. That's okay. See, right here. No birthday on it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very happy to see that somebody's taking security seriously around here. Tell me, what, uh, what lucky doctor will be taking you to the uh, nurse's ball? Uh -huh. I don't date doctors. Too much money, too little time to spend it. No, I'm performing in the ball, so uh, I just haven't finalized my plans for an escort. Well, we must remedy that deplorable situation immediately. Nurse Scanlon, would you do me the great honor of permitting me to escort you to the ball? What a charming invitation. I accept. You do? Mm-hmm. Now may I pass? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, d'accord, s'il vous plaît. Well, thank you, Professor. Oh, Doc, what happened to you? You missed my little number. Please, don't remind me. That's all I heard about from Victor all the way over here. But I wanted your critique about my moves, you know. Uh, do you want They're me to great. check the rigging? Oh, Jake, yes, thank you. There's some sort of hang-up thingy happening up in the rigging yeah. deal, and I don't want to snap on Friday, please. I, I will check on it. Okay, thanks. thanks. Huh. Hi. Have you seen anything unusual? No. No, no, let's not talk about it, because Serena's on her way over here to practice her little number with her dad, you know, and Gail Bringer, I think. How did you ever get Scott to perform in the first place? Oh, well, after begging, pleading, cajoling, crying big puppy dog tears, and he said no, I decided to say that Dominique donated a whole pediatric age unit. The least he could do is perform a little dance in her memory. That's called a guilt trip. You're darn right, and it worked, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, there they are. Oh, yes. Hi. Hey. Hi. Here I am. Oh, I'm good. ready. When do we start? Oh, <laughs> right away. And Gail, I am so glad you decided to put aside our little differences in your self-centered self and change your mind and do the course line. Lucy, I haven't changed my mind. Oh. Yeah, I, I, this year, I just want to be a proud grandmother, watch the girls from the audience and enjoy them, okay? But Audrey already bailed, and now you're bailing? This is not traditional. This is not what we need. No, don't touch that bench. Serena, come help me with this bench. These guys are ridiculous. Come on, come on, come on. No, thank you, but no thank you, okay? Nurse's ball time. I know, I know. Look who's here, and look... Oh, my. Hey. Hello. Hey, Serena. You're late. Let's get cracking. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. I think somebody's had a little too much sugar. She just had raisins. Honest, I swear. She's just excited about the storm. Oh, really? Well, that's the only reason why I'm doing this goofy little number with you. Uh, excuse me, um, a Gail. Kevin. 
Can you take Serena and could you show that goofy little number, perhaps Moose, to these two, please? Would you take her and go? Better idea. Let's play musical chairs for a while. For just a single moment. Come on, please come here. I really, really want to talk to you. Hey, hey, hey! Don't pull me across town here. I need to know something. What were you thinking, bringing her here to my little rehearsal? Will you just keep your voice down? No, I want to know why she's not in jail. Because she's not guilty. Oh, there is no justice in this world, is there? You know, that's it. I'm not listening to these... Uh, Wait a minute. Do yours. not walk away from me. I've already walked away from you up here, okay? Because you snitched about the bracelet to the cops. Why? I was just doing my civic duty, so shoot me. Don't tempt me. That makes two of us, Lucy. Just butt out! Um, Serena, maybe we should go and uh, look at your dressing room, huh? I think that's an excellent idea. <clears throat> cool. I hope I get a big one. Yeah. Come on. <sighs> Lucy, Scott has moved on, and so should you. Yeah. Oh, Pal, you got to listen to me. You know that I am your very best friend in the whole world, the best friend you will ever have. And this, this, this thing person is, is clouding your mind. Think, you've already hid evidence from the police, and I don't know what you've done that I just haven't found out about yet. Yet, yet, there you go again. Will you stop digging? I didn't have to dig very far to figure out that Eve's bracelet you found didn't tell the police was near Devlin's dead butt. Oh, never mind, I'm busy! Oh. Oh. Your bracelet no. was next to my father's body? Oh, wait, wait. <sighs> Julie, listen, I I'm sorry, I didn't quite mean for you to hear that listen, like Julie, that. I just wanted you to know the truth. You don't have all the facts yet. Dude, you're no, my no. lawyer, and you kept information like that a secret? No, you could have cleared this up weeks ago, and you have kept quiet to protect this murderer. No, no, listen to me. There is a murderer out there. Eve is not it. Oh, don't get condescending with me, There's Scott. There's gotta be some kind of logical explanation. Let's hear it. No, I'm not happens. gonna hear it. I won't believe a word he says. You're fired. No, Julie, look, I don't think that's in your best interests here. I, I know your case inside and out, and I think we can win. You just, you gotta trust me. Trust you? Yeah. I'm gonna sue you for legal malpractice, but first, I am gonna see you in jail for murder. Oh, that's what Lucy. Julie! Julie! Wait! Julie! Just wait! Why? I just want to make sure you're okay. Your father let me take the rap on this for weeks. He could have cleared me a long time ago. I can't even begin to imagine what it's like to have your father murdered and then be blamed for it. You're right. So don't even try. But don't take it out on Scott, please. What are you saying? God is an excellent attorney. Sure, sure he is when he's representing Eve. You should think twice before firing him. Scott was protecting his guilty lover. He should have turned her in. He would never protect a murderer. That's oh, ridiculous. Oh, Karen, grow up. At least when I realized my father was a jerk, I admitted it. But he's not a jerk. It's Come a on. different situation. Come on. You are so grateful to finally have a father that you can't face the truth. You know, maybe it's time you take a good, hard look at him. Good Just, I clearly said, please put your chairs back where they belong. No one ever listens to me. I hate that. Oh, good great people. Lucy, the director's is trying to work here. Please turn the lights back on. I didn't give you any light cues. Hello? Is somebody there? Hello? I heard you scream. I practically ran all the way across the okay, building. Jake, yeah, yeah. I'm Jake, fine. what are you doing here? I was checking the rigging in back, and, and the lights went out. I was hoping what? I'd be able to catch the person, but well, I got caught up in some of the rigging out back, huh? Some hero. Were you at the lighting board? No, no way. No one knew it. But Lucy, I would never do anything to scare you. No, I, I, I know that. Jake, thanks. Thanks. Go, go, go back. Finish whatever you were doing. Thank you. Sorry. Thanks. 
All right, that's it, Lucy. I do not want you to MC the ball. No, Doc, I've told you 50 million times. I'm committed Lucy, to this. Lucy, listen to me. It's too dangerous. Now, we'll just let Audrey or Monica or someone else take a turn for a change. No, I, I, I'm going to do this. D Doc, you know I'll feel safer up on the stage with all those eyes on me around town, those people watching me instead of sitting around the lighthouse waiting like some sitting duck. Sorry, Sigmund. Oh, Doc, I'm okay. It's, it's going to be okay. <sighs> This is Kevin Newman. And Lisa McCree. Tomorrow, Emeril Lagasse presents his dad with a special Father's Day dish. Plus, Amy Grant will be performing live from New York Central Park. All that tomorrow on Good Morning America.